We come in prayer. We come together as we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Trinity, the mystery of one God in three persons. As we gather in prayer this morning, we heard from the Old Testament in the book of Proverbs about how wisdom was with God from the start, how wisdom watched God as he take, took very deliberate care in creating the world and how God took delight in making humankind. And then we heard from St. Paul that we are justified and saved through Jesus Christ, that his passion and death brought to us the gift of salvation, a gift freely given to remind us of God's overwhelming love for each one of us. And then in the Gospel of John, he continually strives to remind us that he spoke and gave to us what the Father taught him and that we will further, more will be revealed to us as the Spirit continually strives to come forth to give us courage and strength to live our faith to go to be witnesses to the world of God's love, to go to go forth and make a difference in the world we live in by striving to share and live our faith. Today, as we come in prayer, we don't come to hear an explanation of the Trinity, but we come together in prayer to reflect and what that's all about for us today. The Father, Son, and Spirit are there to strive to shadow for us what it means to live in relationship with others around us, what it means to strive to reach out to one another, to affirm each other's goodness, to strive to help correct our wrongs and to build a better, caring, and more God-respecting world. We come to reflect upon our relationships. Where in our relationships are we growing? Where in our relationships are we affirmed by God that we are making a difference? In those everyday relationships, do we truly see a difference because we see God in one another? And the Trinity also is there to challenge us to challenge us to love as God loves us unconditionally. To be willing to forgive, to be willing to strive to affirm one another. That's what I've heard in the readings today. That as we come in prayer, we're just asked to pause and to look in those relationships in our life. It might be relationships within our own family. It might be relationships with co-workers, with classmates, with neighbors, with relatives, with parishioners. What is striving to be positive in our life relationships and what areas do we need to strive to work on to make them better? Because it's in our relationships 
that love goes forth. Love has to be in relationship to another person. It can't be in isolation. Love is only there in relationship to someone else. How are we loving? How are we caring? How are we striving to go out of our way to reach out to someone to make a difference? That's the challenge of the Trinity. Our call to relationship and love. We thank God for giving us the example of the Father, Son, and Spirit. And we keep looking to that example for strength that we need to live our faith today. Because we have a great treasure in our faith and the world needs that. They need that hope and that strength which only our God can give us through faith. As we come in prayer today, may the Lord continually strive to open our hearts and our eyes and our minds to see the wonders of God at work among us and to thank God for the gift of salvation and Father, Son, and Spirit.